a true follower of Ahlul Bayt cannot wait. And you think by decapitating our bodies, you have a stranglehold over us? We come from a line of those whose body parts were decapitated. We saw Hujr bin Adi executed in Marj Athra. And we saw Maytham al-Tammar's tongue cut. But one man we never forget. Even while his body parts were cut, he would still say, لا أرهب الموت إذا الموت زقى حتى أوارى في المصاليت لقى نفسي لنفس المصطفى الطهر وقى إني أنا العباس If ever there's a day they cut your hands, it's worth it. They cut Abel Fadl's too. And if ever there's a day they kill your children, then they look to take out Abbas's children too. But I don't know how many of you will ever have an arrow stuck in your eye looking for water. That's the moment, yes? One of the ulama who used to sit on the minbar, he said, I was reciting the Masaib of Abel Fadl. He said, when I finished the Masaib, I went home that night. In my sleep, I saw Fatima al Zahra, alayhi salam. The lovers of Fatima, this is your night, because Abbas is Fatima's son. He said, I saw Fatima al Zahra that night in my dream. She was crying and crying. <laughs> he said to her, My lady, did I recite something wrong in my majlis? She said to him, No, no, you didn't. He said, Then why do you cry? She said, Whenever you recite about Abel Fadl, there's one line I want you to recite. He said to her, What is it, my lady? She said, Normally, when someone falls off their horse, they fall with their hands in front of them. <laughs> my Abel Fadl fell with no hands. In Iraq, a few years ago, there was this young boy sitting by the grave of Abel Fadl. Yes, sitting by the grave. And while he was sitting by the grave, his feet, he could never stand on them. And he never had hands. And so his wish had always been, can I one day do matam for Imam al Hussein? Because wallah, the biggest honor, I repeat it and I repeat, is that I can strike my hand on my chest for Abba Abdullah. Do you know why? Because I remember the chest of Abba Abdullah, the way the horse is trampled on it, yes? So he was sitting there, night of the 8th or night of the 7th of Muharram, he's sitting down, and everyone's doing matam for Abbas, Ya Abbas, Ya Abbas, Ya Abbas. And his dream was one day, can I do matam, but I have no hands, and I have no feet to stand on. He says at that moment, a young man came walking towards me, yes? Looked like he was in his 30s. He said to me, why don't you stand up? He said, if I had feet, I would stand up, but my feet are crippled. So he said, they told me, okay, stand now. He said, for the first time in my life, I stood. Then he said, why don't you strike your hands for Abbas? He said, I don't have the hands. He looked at me and he said, Wallah, if I had hands, I'd give them to you. But they took my hands on the 10th of Muhammad. Zainab called Ya Hussein and Kulthum called Ya Hussein and Layla called Ya Hussein and Hussein called Ya Abbas. Yes, no doubt. Because he never wanted to let him go and fight. Yes, all he had asked him, Do you hear Sukaina crying? He said, Yes. He said, Go and bring her some water. Bring water because he heard the cry, Al Atash, Al Atash. When he heard the cry, he went towards bringing the water, yes? Would this be the last time he sees Zainab? Possibly. He went towards the water. When he came by the water, he got the cold water. The thought for any of us would be to drink. And he said the famous words, Ya nafsu min ba'dil Hussein huni. Wa ba'dahu ma kunti in takuni. Hada al-Hussein warid al-mal. Wa tashrabina barid al-ma'ini. What did he say? He said, I want to drink the syrup of this water while my brother drinks the syrup of death. 
He put the water back as he turned around. He headed back towards the tents. On his way towards the tents, a number of them gathered by the trees. All of a sudden, someone came and struck the right arm of Abel Fadl. He tried to hold the alam with his left arm. And when he held the left alam with the left arm, someone came and struck the left arm of Abel Fadl. He tried to hold the alam with his chest. Amar bin Sa'ad turned to Harmala bin Kahil and said, Strike Abbas. All of a sudden, an arrow came into the eye of Abel Fadl. Normally, when someone falls, they fall with their hands in front of them. Abel Fadl fell directly onto the ground. They came and they began to strike Abel Fadl. They struck him with the iron bar. And they struck him with the sword. Sukaina was near Imam al Hussein, yes. And she turned around, she said, I think my uncle has fallen. He said, Why? He said, Because the, the flag has fallen, yes. Abu Abdullah ran towards the body of Abu al And the narrations mention Abu al Fadl could not see because there was blood all over his eyes. And he could not hear because one of the iron bars struck his head, yes. When Imam al Hussein came, do you know how he recognized it was Imam al Hussein? From the kiss of Imam al Hussein. Not even from the voice. He can't hear from the kiss. And that moment, Abu Abdullah took the head of Abu al Fadl. He prayed, placed the head on the, on the lap. Abu al Fadl removed his head. Again, he placed it. Again, he removed it. He looked at him and then he heard the voice. Abu Abdullah, you place my head in your lap. Who will take your head in a few moments? Allah Akbar. Imagine that line. I say to him, Abu al Fadl, I wish you had seen when Shimmer took the chest of Abu Abdullah. And when he took the head of Abu Abdullah al Hussein. And that moment he wanted to take him back to the tents. But he heard the voice again. Do not take me back to the tents. I promise Sakina water. What water do I have to take back to her? Ya Hussein, Matsam al Hussein, Ya Hussein, Ya Hussein.